Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and I wanna give you a free sales funnel. Now, this sales funnel is specifically designed for businesses and individuals that sell digital products and other digital resources. And real quick, before I show you the funnel, just know that I wrote a blog post about the strategy behind it, and I also linked to how to get to the funnel, so you can go ahead and grab the funnel as well. And that's below this video, so you can go check that out to learn how to actually apply the strategy and get the funnel itself because I'm not gonna go through too much strategy here. I'm more just gonna show you the funnel and what it looks like on the inside. So again, this link to this article is down below and you'll be able to download the funnel from there. So this is the general overview of the sales funnel. We start off with our squeeze page so we can squeeze the contact information out of our website visitors. Then it goes into a video sales letter that tries to sell our initial offer. Hopefully they buy it and they go in and are offered OTO number one or one-time offer number one or an upsell. And of course, hopefully they purchase that and they're greeted with OTO number two, which is another digital product or digital resource. Hopefully they buy that, but whether they buy it or not, they're still going to land on our order confirmation page, which just shows them the information about what they just purchased. Now coming back to OTO number one here, if they decline or they don't purchase OTO number one, we'll greet them with a downsell. And this would typically be like a payment plan or maybe a discount, or maybe you'd offer another bonus or incentive to get them to try and buy OTO number one. And whether they purchase OTO number one or not, they're still going to go through the rest of the funnel. So that's like the 30,000 foot view of this sales funnel. So let's go over to ClickFunnels and walk through the pages together. So here we are on the squeeze page and this is my top converting squeeze page. Now I always split test this page against prettier opt-in forms or squeeze pages. And this version, this model always outperforms the prettier ones. Don't know why exactly, but it just does. And I recommend you split test this type of version with a prettier version or whatever you can come up with. But this one pretty much is always a top performer no matter what niche I've been in. And so we have our headline up here, our sub headline. We have a image of the lead magnet and then just the opt-in form and that's it. And as you just saw, I moved my cursor out of the screen which triggered our exit intent pop-up. So if somebody's on our page, but then they go to exit without filling in the opt-in form, they'll be greeted with an exit intent pop-up. And this one takes them to another opt-in form for a different lead magnet. So maybe they're not interested in the initial lead magnet that I offered them, but they'll be interested in another lead magnet. So for example, my other super awesome lead magnet. And if they clicked, yes, I want in, they'd be brought to the other squeeze page. But of course, we're gonna assume that they opt in here. So click download now, which will bring them to the video sales letter page. And it looks very similar to the squeeze page they just were on. And that keeps some continuity going. So it looks similar, it looks congruent, and it just makes sense. So here we have a video that tries to sell them our initial offer, our initial product. And it's a pretty simple page. We have our title up here, our subtitle, we have our video. We have our Brunson box, or just a preview of what's to come in the video up above. And I don't know if you noticed, but this join today and our order form button here, this popped up after 15 seconds. So one of the strategies behind this type of page is to only show the price and the offer when you mention the price or the offer in the video. So let's say that I went 10 minutes into this video before I mentioned the price or being able to join. I could go ahead and set this button and this order form to appear after 10 minutes. So let me refresh the page real quick and I'll show you. I right, see how the button's not there and you see how there's no order form option right here. So I have it set for 15 seconds So for demonstration purposes. So we're not sitting here for 10 minutes, but it should pop up here very soon. There we go. So then the join today pops up and they can go ahead and join or purchase the initial offer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and show you OTO number one. All right, so here is OTO number one. You see up here, your order is not complete. We have another VSL or video sales letter. We have some more bullets of what's to come in this video. And then we have the option to, yes, add the super course to my order, or no thanks, I hate awesomeness and enjoy learning the hard way. And so this is the OTO number one page. It's pretty simple. Of course, the video is what's gonna be doing the selling. So you really gotta make that count, but this is what the page looks like. And for the sake of this example, I'm gonna hit no, so we can see the down sell, so no. And here's the down sell page. You notice it looks dramatically different from the OTO one page. It's orange, bright, 
shows up. It's like, whoa, what the heck is that? And that's to capture their attention so that they know that this is something different and that hey, maybe, maybe they missed something. So this is the downsell page I'm using and wait, read this. Hey, you missed this offer, blah, blah, blah. And I gave them that option to join with the payment plan. So three payments of $67 or one payment of $197. And then there's also the option to say, no thanks, I still don't want access to this awesomeness. But of course, they're gonna wanna join the course. So they're going to say three payments of $67, join the course, which is gonna bring us to OTO number two. And as you see, it looks very similar to OTO number one, except this bar has changed a little bit or a little further down. It's a different color, so they can tell it's a different offer, different video, obviously, because it's selling a different product. And then the same, yes, I want to access to your group coaching, or no thanks, I don't like coaching. Of course, they want to buy this, so we'll click yes. And so now we're on our order confirmation page. Just thank you for your purchase. Here's your product receipt information. So we see what they purchased, the tripwire, the core offer payment plan, and then the profit maximizer, our guarantee, additional links and resources, and so on. So that's a walkthrough of the sales funnel that's designed specifically for digital products and other digital resources. If you want the funnel and you wanna learn more about the strategy behind it, look below for that link and you can go ahead and grab the funnel today, add it to your account. It's free, free funnel, free strategy. It's here for you. Go ahead and take advantage of it.